investigating today's teens to see if they know 90s comedies. Name one movie that has Jim Carrey in it. Uh, oh, what's it called? The thing with Truman Show. The, oh, the mask. The mask. There yeah. we go. There we go. Boom. Just that one You just got his tongue falling out. Well, how about this movie? <gasps> Dumb and Dumber! Yes! Oh! Yes! So what do we think Dumb and Dumber is about? Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. What is that? Oh, I've seen this scene. What type of car is that? It's a dog, because they clean dogs as a business, a side, yeah, so side gay. Okay. Still haven't seen it. Oh. His, his teeth. Yeah, his teeth. Oh. <laughs> they just put like black paint on it. I've done that before. <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> no, no. My dad in the car when he's driving. <laughs> me and my sister, my mother. <laughs> exactly, me and my sister, my mom. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Screaming! He's like me for early eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mockingbird. Oh, I love it. That's, oh, I would so watch that's that. That's rivaling Rain's World, I know. Ooh. I would say that's yeah, on the top. It's close. It makes me feel so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Puxatani Phil? That's a good question. Oh, oh, is that the, the groundhog? <laughs> it is the groundhog! <laughs> what would you say this movie is about? Time goes on forever and he's like stuck in a loop or something? Like. Warning! Uh, see the groundhog? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. No, I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. What day is this? It's February 2nd. He's in denial. It's Groundhog Day. Why do you think he's so confused right now? Maybe he's like in a new world or a new like oh, dimension. Like, oh, kind of like, like a freaky backwards. Friday. This is him realizing he's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm living the same day over again. Yep. <laughs> he wakes up, it's a new day. That's I knew right. it. Did you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I see it. <laughs> Favorite movie trope, this is it. What she is deja vu? Deja vu is when you think something exactly like like happened, mm -hmm. when it probably did, or it didn't. You just have the exact memory like, Oh my gosh, this just happened. Like I've done I this swear. before. The movie Groundhog Day came out in 1993. A cynical TV weatherman finds himself reliving the same day over and over again when he goes on location on a small town of Puxatawney, which is a town in Pennsylvania where Puxatawney oh. Phil is from. Can you name the lead actor in this clip? I thought I did at first. I me thought he too. was the uh, the robber from Home Alone at first. Yeah, me too. Oh. But, but it's not. Bill Murray. And Scrooged? I don't know if it's my type of movie. I mean, it definitely seems a little interesting, though. Yeah, I literally I'll saw it again. last week, so. <gasps> so maybe you'll, you'll so take maybe a I'll moment. take a little break, but <laughs> but soon again. Can you name this actor? No. I don't know who this is at all. It's giving Uncanny Valley. Yeah. Like, I know who it is, but like, do I? Have you seen this movie poster before? Never in my entire life. <laughs> I've only seen oh the gosh, poster. So Every time like you scroll through stuff, that always comes up, but I've never yes. clicked on it. Megan, oh, this is giving before. Barbie dream house. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Megan. Uh, I'm Jan, and I'm a softball player, and Aww. I'm homosexual. So oh. cute. OK. So adorable. What you need, I like pain. So she I'm is gay or her parents think she's gay? Her parents think she's gay. I go to church. I'm a cheerleader. Oh, I have, I've seen at least, I've heard that clip. I like all of you. I'm a little confused. What is the plot here? The movie But I'm a Cheerleader is about Megan. She's so stunned when her parents decide that she's gay and send her to True Directions, a boot camp meant to alter her sexual orientation. So that's what they're all doing here. What? And what? Isn't that insane? I feel like if this movie played today, it would get canceled. Oh, <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Interesting girl. concept. Right? So that's like, that's her gay awakening. That is that is when she realizes. Being sent to conversion camp was her gay awakening. That's right. Oh. This would get so canceled. <laughs> Do you know who that is? He looks like LeBron James. That is RuPaul. If you know RuPaul's Drag Race. Do I know RuPaul's Drag Race? <laughs> it's like cars? It's like, like, no, it's like, like a drag race? Like, it's like drag makeup. Or like drag, like. I mean, it's This is what? unlike anything else I've ever seen. I like, love that. Right? Yeah. I'm like flabbergasted like the first few seconds like watching this. Add it to the watch list.
I love it. Can you name a movie that Mike Myers stars in? Michael Myers or Mike Myers? Like Mike, Mike Myers. Myers. Yeah, I've never heard of him in my Mike entire Myers. life. Comedian? Mike Myers plays Shrek. There he And goes. he's in this movie. This is called Wayne's World. What do you think this movie is about just from looking at this poster? They're like those like teenage boys that are like making concoctions at lunch where they pour like the chocolate milk with their burgers. I think it's just about like two friends who go around like with each other. They play off each other well and they just do like stupid stuff. Oh, this song's a buck. Do you know this song? It reminds me of Dumb and Dumber. For me, for me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Synchronized headbanging. I know those guys stink. You think that they smell bad? Shower. I don't think you're wrong. Oh, the Doritos, the, the logo. A little weird, no. The Reebok. Whoa! This ad plug is crazy. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. Here, take two of these. Are you serious? They really paid? <laughs> it's only one crazy. Yellow. Different. What is the plot here? Look, you can stay here in the big leagues. I know who that is. Rules, or you can go back to the farm club and roar. It's your choice. Yes. And it's the choice of a new the generation. Pepsi that was comedy. I like it. it yeah, is. I'm clueless. It's a parody. It has to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it it has has to be. I for sure see that. It's one of those movies that you always hear about, but you just have never seen it. Manchild has been spoiled rich his whole life. When his father becomes fed up with his son's irresponsible ways, he issues an ultimatum. He must retake and pass every grade, K through 12, in 24 weeks. Otherwise, he won't get his father's business. Billy Madison! It is Billy Madison! Oh, I didn't yes, see this! Let's watch a little bit of Billy Madison, shall we? C. H. Oh. Correct! I am the smartest man alive! <laughs> With all the like seven year olds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I could watch this. What is going on? <laughs> because each time he passes a grade, his father throws him a party. Good. Like a With kid's party. Plastic. Yes. Yeah. You know, everybody's having a good time but you. I feel bad. Like all his friends are like elementary school students. Did he push that kid? <laughs> That's so me, that poor child. Yeah, I kind of would want to be like invited. Like I'm kind of jealous. You know, wow. that's a fun party. I mean, it looks fun. It looks I know, so fun. I, no matter what age you are, too. doesn't matter what age you are. That's fun. I feel like it's not something I'd watch on my own, but I feel I, I'd watch it with a friend if they were interested. I love Adam Sandler. So I'm like, me too. I think it's great. Oh, fantastic. Yep. All right, guys, yeah. let's go on to the next one. The movie Sister Act features Whoopi Goldberg and Maggie Smith. What movies from the early 2000s have Maggie Smith as a professor? You saying professor made me think Harry Potter. You're right! Oh, my gosh! Lounge singer Dolores Van Cartier always wanted to be a star performer. Nothing you can say Love her. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, the clap side. She's going oh. to become a star witness. Is this why she turned to religion? <laughs> That's oh. Maggie Smith. Oh, wait. That's oh, Maggie yeah. Smith. Yo! <laughs> she is... M McGonagall. She's McGonagall in Harry Potter. That is correct. She's iconic. She's a conspicuous person designed to, to stick out. Look at me. She brought, like... Like her swag, her singer swag, her performer swag. Great playlist, right? Great playlist. Oh, the double dutch. Oh, the double dutch. I like her. We can rock this place. We're gonna go straight to hell. We watching Sister Act? Yeah, for sure. Is that a for sure? Oh yeah. yeah. I need to watch that movie. I'm gonna pass on that one. I feel like the reason I'm saying pass on most of these is I just can't watch like blurry movies. Like compared to what we have today, it's just like, it's just not as good. The playlist was so good. I was like, so good. She's vibing over here. I, I loved it, oh. loved it. One comedian plays several roles in this 1996 movie. He is also in the movie Shrek, Daddy Daycare, and The Haunted Mansion. It's called- Oh, I know this. The Nutty Professor. I've seen the poster. Actually, I haven't seen it. It's like totally. you think you see it, but like totally. maybe I you just don't. Be like making it up. I, I see what you Sometimes mean. I, I convince myself that I've seen it. Oh, oh. 
That just made me I'm so, so hungry. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so We're hungry. The same person, no, literally. And fun fact, that is Jada Pinkett Smith. What? Right here. That's her. That's, That's Jada Pinkett crazy. Smith. She was so pretty. Sometimes, like, you know when you see people eating and it makes the food look good? Oh, yeah. That's like this. Totally. Yeah, he's playing all of them. It's not like, like that's that. him? Uh -huh. oh. We just work together. Oh, oh yeah, that's how I start out, Kylie. Oh! Yeah. That's him? Yes. He does not play the kid. Oh. Yeah, he's not the kid. <laughs> that's him? Yes. I can just tell because of the nose. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Got him with child-bearing hips. <laughs> Baby popped right out. <laughs> Have you ever had a dinner like that? Yeah. No. Not yet? Not yet. I, I mean, I hope it never happens. <laughs> what kind of talent does it take to play so many roles? Insane talent, because not only are you playing one person with two personalities, you're playing like eight different people exactly. in one movie. All of, of the roles. That, that, that's like the actual cool part for me. That yeah. like, yeah, that makes it was like doing that. intriguing to watch, because like, how is he doing all that? Shagadelic, baby. Is this? You got it, you got it. <gasps> Busted powers? It is! I only know this because daddy wasn't there. Take me to the bed. <laughs> what are you picking up from this poster? British. It's got like a SpongeBobby font. An international man of mystery. What? Traveling? Like, like something to do with the UK. Yeah, yes. Right? He looks Probably. like he's having fun. Like, ooh. Because I thought this was like um. Like I know him. Cartoon Network. Yeah, baby. Allow myself to introduce. I like the song. The beginning is so dramatic, and now this is just like all dancey. And... Danger's my middle name. <laughs> Danger's his middle name. <laughs> okay, name. Sex? Yes, please. <laughs> he was the coolest secret agent alive. Unfortunately, it's freedom, baby. Yeah. This is not his time. He needs a toothbrush. Yes, he does. He's oh. a swinger in a square oh. world. Oh, I lost the chain. This is the My mother, Mrs. Exposition. Lovely. Oh, Austin, oh. what have you got? That's not your mother, it's a man, baby. Oh. Why won't this wig come off? Well, that give me chills and not the good ones. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> this is the one that's kept me the most entertained. Really hard. It's too over the top for me. I like his outfits. I know. His outfits He's are unique. so like funky. They're funky. <gasps> this is like really good. It's like funny, energetic. Soundtrack is good. We were like vibing. 60s <gasps> vibes. Like so good. That, I, think I love just it. Put on it over the edge. I think, yeah, I'll watch it. This movie has the same name as a popular Ben and Jerry's flavor. What do you think it is? Chocolate fish food. I know what you're talking about. I never really pay attention to the flavors. I just look at what it has in it and I buy it. Pina colada. Uh, What's a fl I don't know. Ice cream flavor? <laughs> it's called half baked. Oh! You know oh half baked. Oh my god. <laughs> Get some. Are they twins? Sour cream. No. Brothers. Onion. Chips. Are we sure they're like half baked? Beef <laughs> jerky, some peanut butter. Oh. Get some Hagen Dazs ice cream oh. bars. A whole lot of hot. Make sure chocolate. Gotta have chocolate, man. Some popcorn, <laughs> red popcorn, graham crackers. Graham crackers is the marshmallows, the little marshmallows, and little chocolate bars, and we'll make some s'mores, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Uh, yeah, bro. You know, I wouldn't compare myself to these guys, but yeah. yeah. Water, whole lot of water, and I'm not back in 10 minutes. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is really funny. Have you ever been that excited about food? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, never. Mm -mm. He's like, graham crackers, man. <laughs> and also the little s'mores, though, so we can make. Don't forget chocolate. We need chocolate. We need chocolate. And the small one. Oh, he got all excited. Yeah. It's a part of a group of movies called Stoner Movies. Okay, I see that. Yeah, right? And you can tell by his shirt and kind of like their whole their vibe. Their energy, whole vibe, the yeah. dress. Yeah, man. Yeah. dresses, yeah. What news? Yeah, there hasn't really been been in like a single movie so far. I'm like, oh, I have to watch that. Or I like, understand. oh, I'm definitely watching this. Yeah. Like, it's just like, it's I all right. It. This next movie has been made into a musical comedy and stars Robin Williams. Do you know who Robin Williams is? No. By name? No. By face? Maybe. Have you heard of the movie Mrs. Doubtfire? Yes. No. <laughs> Give me a synopsis of the movie just by looking at this this cover. Ooh, the maid is evil. <gasps> the, the nanny I feel is it. evil. 
Looking sneaky. Looking sneaky. Troubled that he has little access to his children, divorced Daniel hatches an elaborate plan oh. with help from... Oh. Yeah, you guys get it. He wants to be closer to his kids. I love the hair. Right. <laughs> it's gonna blow. <laughs> the poor stove. I know that stove is gonna be wrecked by the end of this. He's gonna try it. Does it burn him? Oh. <gasps> oh, this, this the tatas. Oh, is this not the smartest person? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire, though, do you think it's a fun concept? Yes. yes. I think it's that a great concept. That is an concept. amazing concept. Yeah. Good <gasps> concept! <gasps> do I have you? Is no. this one you adding Mrs. Doubtfire to the list? To watch, Sophia? Yes. And to watch again. <gasps> and to watch, to again. watch again. Austin Bowers? That's still the top one. Yeah. That's still like, I don't think, I think it just ranks too high. Exactly. <gasps> Cameron Diaz. Do you know who that is? Yeah. I think? It sounds very Cameron cute. Diaz is, but like, no. What do you guys think? A movie called There's Something About Mary. There's something about her. You know something what? Something about her. After prom, There's something about past, Mary that we gotta know. Are you going to the prom? I, she's I so pretty. I think the prom is dumb. That's her? Yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. She oh, does look like so Fiona. different there. Right? He, he does. looks so different from how I was like imagining him, but that's because he has braces and the hairstyle. Yep. Oh, no, I, no, no, I wasn't. Oh, we got a leader! Wait. Are you okay, Tech? Oh my god. Is gosh. this the one that's. Oh my god, what does he no, say? Not Mary again. I mean, crushes don't last for 13 years, right? He couldn't help. He crushed on her for 13 years. That's, that's crazy. Scary. That's a long time. Hey, that's the dude from Zoolander. I haven't seen you since. Uh, oh, since yeah. That is correct. <laughs> How's everything? Oh, that's really fine. <laughs> Something in, in hot dogs. <gasps> oh, pork and beans. Pork and beans. And then the truth is, I we started to like her. There's something about Mary. What do you guys think? Is this on the list? Yes. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yes. yes. Like like Austin Powers, maybe like in the middle. I think this is like a really good concept too. Like, it's a cute. Yeah, it's like, cute. Keeps you hooked. What is your top movie that you're excited to watch from the 90s? If there was one I had to watch, it would probably be Dumb and Dumber. Mrs. Delphi. Wait, so you've never seen it? But you no, knew I've about it. it. Oh, okay. But you want to rewatch. Yeah. The Austin Powers movie, There's Something About Mary, and then Dumb and Dumber. Oh, that's good. That's my top three. Billy Madison. Yeah, Billy mm, Madison. Maybe that one too. That one did look good. Probably, but I'm a cheerleader because I love RuPaul. I haven't seen a cheerleader either. Austin Powers, for sure. Something mm. About Mary and Ooh. Groundhog Day. Oh! Tony Phil, he has my heart right now. I'm yeah, living for spending. it. I'm living for it. I love it. 